Yeah, hi guys. Uh, thanks for joining in. Uh, let's discuss uh, one more transformation today. Uh, so we'll be discussing router transformation. Let me write it down. Okay. So router trans transformation is an active transformation and connected. Okay. So I hope uh, by this time, at least you guys know what is active transformation, what is passive transformation, what is a connected and unconnected transformation. Okay. So what is active transformation? Active transformations are uh, the transformation with uh, like the number of input records which are coming into the transformation is not equal to the number of records which are going out of the transformation. So we discussed in our previous sessions. Okay. Please visit to the previous session video where uh, we discussed the types of transformation that are available in Informatica. See here, the number of input records is not is the entering into the transformation is not equal to the number of records which are going out of the transformation. Such type of transformations are called active transformation. See here, here there are 10 records coming in to the transformation. But we specified a condition in the transformation as DEPT ID is equal to 10. It means that it, whatever the records which satisfies the, this condition will only pass to the next level of the transformation. In that case, the number of input records not will not be equal to the number of output records, right? Such transformations are referred as active transformations. So here, uh, router, router transformation is an active transformation. and connector transformation, okay? So let's uh, move on to the next point. So before going into the, uh, before going into discuss uh, some more points, let's recall some points that we discussed about filter transformation, okay? So in filter transformation, what we discussed, uh, it supports only uh, one single condition, right? We can pass only one single condition. And also, so we can we cannot or we cannot able to to capture the data or records which does not satisfy the condition specified in the filter transformation. So these are very important points, okay. What I mean to say here is, take the same uh, picture. So think that this is a filter transformation, okay? And we specified a department ID is equal to 10 as a condition in, in our filter transformation. Excuse me. So from the source, there are coming, we are getting 10, so 10 records, which contain three records of department ID, ID 10s, okay? So what I mean to say is like, uh, there are like 10 records which are coming in from the source, but in out of 10 records, there are three records which belong to department ID 10. And what is this, uh, what, what is the uh, condition we specified in filter transformation department ID is equal to 10, right? So whatever the records which satisfied this condition will pass to the next uh, level of the mapping to the downstream uh, transformations or uh, targets, okay? So what about all other records? Uh, um, department 20, department 30, department 40, any of the records, okay? What about those records? They will be lost, right? There is no option in filter tran transformation to capture that uh, uh, records which doesn't satisfy this condition, which was specified in the filter transformation. So that is very important. But, but when it comes to router transformation, we can capture before that uh, we can pass multiple conditions in router transmission. Okay. And also we can, we can capture the records which does not satisfy conditions, any of the conditions specified in the router transformation. This is very, very important point. Okay. Just keep in mind when somebody asks you what is the difference between 
router and uh, filter transformation, you need to explain all these points, okay? So what you need to say, um, when it comes to filter transformation, we can only pass single condition and we and we cannot also we can we cannot able to capture the records which doesn't satisfy the conditions specified in the filter transformation okay but when it comes to router transformation we can pass multiple conditions as well as we can capture the records which doesn't satisfy the any of the conditions specified in the router transformation okay um, and one more uh, point that you can tell here it is a single input and single output all the time but when it comes to router transformation, single output, single input, and multiple output. Okay, I hope these points are clear. What I mean to say here is, let's go here. Okay, think that this is our filter transformation. So it's always single input, single output for filter transmission. Let me write it down. Filter. Okay, but when it comes to router transformation, think that this is our router. Okay, it's always like single input, but multiple outputs. Let me write. This is router transformation. So remember this diagram so that you can explain accordingly whenever somebody asks you what is uh, different between uh, filter transformation, router transformation, then you need to tell all these points, okay? Whatever we discussed now. I hope that is clear. So this is like, um, these are the few important points that we need to discuss about uh, filter and router, okay? So router is an active and connected transformation and we can pass uh, multiple conditions in router transformation as well as we can capture the records which doesn't satisfy any of the conditions specified in the router transformation. And it's a single input and multiple output, okay? So if you, I hope uh, this is clear. If not, like uh, let's observe the lab. Uh, one, we'll take one practical example or requirement, and we'll uh, uh, try to achieve that requirement and see like uh, if if we can understand router transform transformation in much more better way. Okay. If you still have any uh, doubts, please comment. I can. I will try to help you out. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's uh, move on to the. Uh, let before that let me open oracle sql developer and check uh, what is the source table and target table that we can use okay i hope uh, i can use the same emp src table which we are using uh, for the last uh, couple of uh, days but still let's see like okay go to src db user Taking time, okay, okay, I got it. Select, start from EMP SRC. So this is the table which I'm using for the last couple of days, but I will be using the same table in this case also. So we have 12 records in this employee source table, okay? So let's take one requirement. Client is asking us a load 
exclude all the employees who belong to department 10 and 20 into a target table okay and the second requirement will be load all the employees who belong to 30 and 40 into a text file okay and load all other employees to csv file I hope uh, the requirement is uh, pretty straightforward, but uh, I, I hope you guys understand the requirement, what client is asking us to do. So they want us to load the employees who belong to 10 department and 20 department into target table. And they also want to load the employees who belong to 30 and 40 into a text file, .txt file. And all other employees, whoever belong to any other department, load it into a CSV file. That is the requirement which was given by the client. Now let's go and see uh, what is the target table that we can use. Mm. There is one table. Uh, okay, I will see here. There is a target table under the name department 10 and department 20, right? So I will be using the same table. See here, there is no data for now. Let's go to the mapping designer. Before that, I hope uh, these three basic steps are familiar. Uh, by this time, you are familiar with these three steps, okay? Uh, the first step is like prerequisite step, right? Before starting the actual development, the prerequisite step is like import all the sources and target objects into Informatica. That is a prerequisite in order to start any development in Informatica Power Center. Okay, let's go and check if we have, we if we imported the sources and targets uh, already uh, into Informatica. Okay, see here, I already have, I'm on the mapping designer. I'm, I already had the employee source table in, in Informatica and I also had the target table which uh, which is which which we will be using to load the employees of department 10 and 20. But for department 30 and 40 and all other employees, uh, we don't have a uh, target files, right? So what we need to do, we need to create a target uh, structures. How we can do that? You need to be on the target designer. You need to go to target uh, target tab go to create option, click create and select flat file from the list of the database types, okay? Let's give some meaningful name, ff underscore dept 30 underscore 40. We'll create one and we'll use it for the other also, okay? Let me double click this one, columns, click see here, this option, when I am hover overing on it, it's showing that add a new column to this table. Click one, two, three, four columns I need. EMP ID and sure data type. Let's provide EMP name. String, keep it, keep it string and keep it 50. And here salary. And here EPT ID or number. Anything is fine. Let's make it integer and let's make it this one also integer. You can make it anything according to your requirement, but I just keep it as integer, okay? Click apply, click okay. See here, all the col columns which I created, uh, they popped up into the target uh, definition, okay? Now we are ready with the source and targets. I will be using this same target uh, structure for the other file also, for the other employees who want who, who we want to load it uh, into a CSV file. I will use, I will use the same... Uh, uh, this uh, definitions, uh, target structure definition, okay? Let's move on to the first step. The, what is the first step? We need to be on the mapping designer and we need to the we need to create a mapping. That's the first step, right? Click create, give some meaningful name. Router we are discussing, I'm putting as a router transformation only. Okay. We have created a, a mapping, a router transformation under the name router transformation. Now drag and drop the sources that, and targets that are required for our development. Okay, we need a MP source. And what is the what are the tables that we need? Target objects. Uh, we need this target table, and we need this target as well. Okay, file. Okay, let me clear the screen. Okay, so I will be using the same uh, target file structure for the other file also. Let's copy and paste it again. See here, I got the other one, but rename it. Let's rename that one, okay? Double click, 
rename see rename to department others so that all the other employees will be loading to csv file okay others i, I will show you like where we will be using where we specify the extension for that here this is a text file that is a requirement right load the load 10 and 20 departments into table and load uh, 30 and 40 department uh, employees into text file and all the all other employees into a csv file okay what we need to do we know that in uh, informatica we had a transformation uh, called roto transformation which can be used to pass multiple conditions as well as uh, we can capture the records which doesn't satisfy any of the conditions okay let's create a transformation router transformation how we can create go to transformations tab click create and select uh, router transformation from the list of uh, list of transformation see here router and the naming convention for the router in real time is like rtr underscore or some meaningful name we'll be giving department numbers because we'll be providing uh, different groups with the uh, department numbers, right? We'll be splitting our data or routing the data depending upon our department number. So that's why I, ju I just gave the department number as the name. But for uh, for your case, like you can give any name, so, but uh, it's always uh, suggested to follow some meaningful names. Okay, click create, done. The router transformation is created. We need all the four columns. Uh, so, so what I do, I'll right click, select all, drag and drop all the ports into router transformation. Excuse me. Yeah. Double click the router transmission. So don't worry about the first tab. Don't worry about the ports tab also. Don't worry about the properties tab also. Go to the groups. This is the this is the tab which you need to worry when you are working with router transmission. See here by default there is no group, right? So what we need to do. See here. Go to what is the first requirement? Load all the employees who, who belongs to department 10 and 20. Right. In that case, create one create one group. Name it as department DEPT 10 comma 20. Okay. And write write the condition. What, what is the condition you can specify? DEPT ID equal to 10 or DEPT ID equal to 20. Let's validate. It's true, right? Click OK. Now, create one more group. What is the second requirement? Load all the employees who belong to department 30 and 40 into a text file. So, we have created one more group. Rename that group. DEPT 30 and 40. Okay. And now, in the similar way, Provide DEPT ID equal to 30 or DEPT ID equal to 40. So whatever the employees who belongs to department 30 and also department ID equal to 40, the employees who belong 30 and 40 will be loaded into a text file. For that, we'll be creating a one more group. So I will not create a group for all other departments. I will use the default group. So router transformation comes up with a default group, which, which will be used to capture all the records which doesn't satisfy the condition specified in the router transformation. So whatever the records which doesn't satisfy these two condition will fall into this default group. That's it. Click apply and observe the output now. See here, when, I, when you created a group, see here how many groups it created accordingly it created a group for department 10 and 20 as a, as we specified and it also created a group for department 30 and 40 as we specified and there is also a one default group whatever the records which doesn't satisfy these two groups will fall into this group okay now connect department 10 and 20 uh, employees to this target and connect department employees 30 and 40 to this target and the default group which maintains which 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 will which going to contain all the employees who doesn't satisfy the first two groups will fall into this default right connect this one to this arrange this one arrange all save it our mapping is done right see our uh, our mapping is also valid good what is the next step 
the next step is create a workflow where we'll be creating workflow on the workflow manager go to workflow manager the L, the w icon uh, tool click okay we need to be on the workflow designer and go to workflows click create gives a meaningful name the naming convention for a workflow will be small wf followed by session name or mapping name Okay, uh, router transmission, click OK. Now we created a workflow. What is the next thing that we need to do? Just follow these steps, that's it. Uh, there's nothing new we'll be doing. Okay, create a session and link it to the mapping and configure it. Go to, uh, we can, we know that we can create session in two, two ways. Go to task step, click create, select session from here and give proper name. Or you can make use of this, uh, session shortcut icon this settings icon see when i'm hover overing on it, it it's showing as a session right session name so click this icon click on the workspace it will display all the mappings that are uh, there in that specific folder we are working on select the mapping you need it to link that to the session we are working on router transformation right select that router transformation click ok now the session is created what is our next step the very most uh, important uh, step double click go to mapping step from the sources, we need to tell Informatica where the source table is present, right? SRC DB, click OK. And in the targets also in the similar way, the one target is target table, right? Select that uh, target uh, uh, definition, uh, target table, and then give the proper connection. Where is our target table content? TGT DB user, right? Click OK. And the other two are files, right? So FFD department others means we need to save that uh, uh, data those employees who doesn't satisfy satisfies these uh, conditions that we specified in router transmission that we need to route it to a csv file so let's uh, uh, give an output file name as dept other okay employees emp dept others dot csv so that is the requirement right whatever the like let's go to the requirement one see here load all the employees to load all the other employees to CSV file. That's what we are doing here. All other employees to EMP department others dot CSV file. So what is the other one? The second group department 30, 40 into a text file, right? In the similar way, EMP DEPT 30, 40 dot EXT. Okay. Since this is a file, we already discussed in order to populate the, with uh, column names, See here, header options, you need to select output field names. Okay, click apply. And also we have seen one more option in previous sessions, right? Truncate target option for uh, target uh, re relational database tables. Select what it will do when you select truncate target table option. It will, whenever it is load, like before loading the data into a target table, it will, it will truncate the data. It will remove the data, whatever that is there in the target table, and it will load uh, the data freshly. Okay, that is the, uh, how this option works, okay? And I hope uh, that all other view already know, okay? That uh, header options we already discussed. Okay, select output field names. Okay, here also I'll be sel selecting output field names. What it will do when you select output field names in the header options, the column names will be uh, pulled into the target files. That's it. Click apply and uh, go to general tab. Fail parent if the task fails. What it does, what this option does, Whenever the session fail, automatically it will fail the workflow. What is a parent for the session workflow, right? That's why whenever the session task fails, it will fail the parent, which is workflow. What is the second one? Sometimes what happens uh, due to some uh, backend uh, issues, uh, for example, if the integration service or repository service is down, the task will not run, right? At that time also, we want workflow to fail. Okay, whenever if this task for any reason, if the session task doesn't run, fail the parent, that's it. These are the two options, which we already discussed in our previous sessions. Okay, I'm just explaining it, explain it again. Okay, click apply, click okay. Now we created the session, we configured the session. Now what is the next step? We need to link the workflow to the session. How we will be linking? Go to task step, select link task. Drag and drag the workflow with the session, that's it. We created the workflow. The second step is also done. What the important step is like, we need to save. That's it, the workflow is valid.
right? So these are the second step is also done. What is the third step? The final step, monitor the job. How we will be monitoring the job on the workflow monitor. Before that, we need to execute the workflow, right? How you will be executing, right click, start workflow. Before starting the workflow, let me show you the target table. See here, there is no data in this table, okay? In a similar way, there is no data, there is there are no files in the target location, okay? Let me run start workflow. Let's see whether it will give you an error or it will uh, run smoothly and uh, get succeeded. It got succeeded. Go to run properties. How we'll be selecting the run properties. Right click on the session. Go to run properties to observe the statistics of input and so outputs. Okay. See here. From the source, it read 12 records. Okay. It it loaded 5 records into department 10 and 20. And it loaded 4 records into department 30 and 40. And it loaded 3 records for the others. So it means that there are 3... Three, uh, three employees who belong to other departments who doesn't belong 10 uh, belong to 10 20 30 40 departments there are three employees this will be loaded into csv file this will be loaded into text file this will be loaded into relational table let's go and check the relation table first it should contain only the employees who belong to department 10 and 20 see it contains only the department 10 and 20 records i hope that is clear and let's go to the files See here, there are two files. One is text file, one is CSV file, comma separated file. Okay, let me maximize. So uh, the second requirement is, the first requirement we have already achieved, right? What, what is client is asking? Load the department 10 and 20 records into target table. What is the second requirement? The first requirement is done, which is this, right? It can, the table contains, the target table contains only the employees who belong to 10 and 20. Go to the second requirement. They are asking us to load the, the employees who belongs to uh, department 30 and 40 in text file. Now open the text file and observe. See, it contains only the employees who, who belong to department 30 and 40. And what is the third requirement? Load load all other employees who will to CSV file. Who doesn't belong to these department, 10, 20, 30 departments, load it to a CSV file. That is the third requirement, right? So go and check the CSV file. Open it. Okay. See here. All other department employees are present here. I hope that is clear. If not, uh, please drop a comment. I can. I will try to help you out again with, by taking some other examples. Okay. Uh, so that that will be all. Uh, you always remember this uh, few points. Okay. So it's always single out single input and multiple output for uh, router transformation. But when it comes to filter transformation, it's always like single input and single output, okay? And in filter, we can only pass one single condition. But uh, when it comes to router transformation, we can pass multiple conditions. We can also capture the records which doesn't satisfy the conditions in router transformation. But where it, when it comes to filter transformation, we cannot capture any of the records which doesn't satisfy the condition mentioned in the filter transformation. I hope these points are clear. If not, uh, please drop a comment. I will try to take one more example and try to explain. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Take care.